The Mike McGuire Show, February 12, 1985. Tape number 86, show number 5. Guests are WOXY Air Personalities, and Peggy Simmons gives a consumer tip. The Backstreet Band performs. <laughs> Show. Coming to you from the TV 11 studios in Hamilton. Mike's guests today are Mr. K and Danny Crash from WOXY 97X. And Peggy Simmons gives a consumer tip with musical guest the Backstreet Band. And now, let's join guest host, Bret Hart's for today's show. Yay! All right, all right, all right. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Uh, my name's Bret Hart's, and today I'm being the guest host on the Mike McGuire Show. Today, Mike's a little under the weather. He's in the control room listening today, though, and he's watching the show. So, uh, he's feeling a little under, so asked me to jump in today and it feels great. I've never done this before so this is going to be great and what a day for me because I enjoy being on the radio so much and we're involved with radio and TV here at Hamilton High School and today we got a couple terrific guys on the show. Some uh, disc jockeys from WOXY um, Radio 97X and a couple neat guys, neat guys and they're both former broadcasting students right here at uh, guys used to be on WHSS and uh, TV 11. They helped out a lot. So we got a lot of questions to ask these guys. A lot of stuff I want to know too. And it'll be interesting seeing some of the craziness that goes on at a radio station. You get to see how some of the stuff works too. It'll be uh, real interesting and real neat to know. So good stuff coming up on the show today as well as the Backstreet Blues Band. They're going to perform here today coming up uh, shortly. So I want you to hang out and uh, it's going to be great. They're here, and uh, these guys, I know one of them now. I know one of these guys, and uh, I don't know this other one, but I know one, Slug, and uh, he's, he's, he's a crazy one. So uh, there's a lot of great stuff. It's all going to be coming up here in the next half hour, so we want you to hang out. The Backstreet uh, Blues Band from Cincinnati going to be here, and they're going to perform a neat song. I think they're just going to do one. Also, Peggy Simmons is here today. She has a consumer tip that she's going to let you know about. Great stuff. You can't beat it. We are going to take a break right now. And uh, coming up after this break, the Black Backstreet Blues Band are going to perform. So we'll be right back. JB Furniture, 319 South 2nd Street in Hamilton, features three full floors of quality brand name furniture and appliances. And for a limited time, it's 12 months, same as cash, on everything in stock, including TVs by RCA, Quasar, and Sylvania. Store manager Bill Robinson is happy to satisfy your furniture and appliance needs, and owner Jay Becker promises courteous, prompt, and free delivery. Remember, there are no strangers at JB Furniture, only friends who haven't met. All right, and we are back. Great stuff from the Backstreet Blues Band. Good to have them back again. You see them a lot here on the show. Today we have a real treat for you. And uh, first of all, let me tell you again, in case you just tuned in, my name is Bret Hart. Obviously, I'm not Mike. He's feeling a little under the weather today. But he's in the control room. He's watching the show, and he's helping out. And asked me if I wanted to jump in here and be guest host today, which I've never done. But this is great. I like being up here. And uh, like I said at the beginning of the show, um, great, st what a show for me to be on because today we have two guys here from WOXY Radio, our 97X, and today I have their t-shirt on here, let me sit up, maybe you can get in on the t-shirt, 97X t-shirt, the alternative rock station, and we have two guys here, first of all, let's meet them now, uh, Mr. K and Danny Crash from 97X, <laughs> Danny Crash right there, That's great. and right next to him we have Mr. K. All right, Hi. Mr. K. Hi, Mom. <laughs> Great. And these guys. Uh, Every year in the world says it. You're on, man. Every year um, in the world says it. I had to say it. I'm sorry. Every night in the world says hi, Mom, on TV. Yeah. Right. I had to do it. I'm sorry. Sure. I can. I'll say hi, Mom. <laughs> okay. Your hi, mom's gonna be real glad too. She said she's gonna watch us. Yeah, tonight. I think she is gonna. I watch talked to her on the phone. I'm real excited. We're Good. happy to be here. Good. Yeah, I'm glad. We're pleased. Good. Tell us about yourself, though. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. We, we're here to find out about you. Now, 
You guys, first of all, are former broadcasting arts students of right here. Absolutely. WHSS, TV 11. You guys went through both, both of them? That's correct. It was 19, I graduated in 1978. Eight. And you graduated in A year later. 79? A year later. That's right. Okay. And, How'd you uh, like it here? Well, you know, you, you get a lot of the uh, kinks worked out. Um, you learn to do basic things, and you get a, a, people should be lucky that they have this, actually, because you do act. I mean, you hear that all during high school, and I heard it from my teachers, you know, mm -hmm. you should be glad you're doing this. But actually, it's true, because you, you, you can learn a lot of stuff, and, uh, you know, these guys, people are running cameras here today, they're running audio, people are in there being DJs, and that's something that most uh, high school students don't get the opportunity to do, so. Mm -hmm. It's, it's, it, it gets you a head start if, if you want to go on to college or if you want to go on into a career. Yeah, because I've been here and now too. See, I'm, I'm a senior, okay, this is my last year. And they've been telling me too, the, the advisors and people, we, we are lucky we have this. And we do have a lot of good facilities and it's good that we can have this in high school. It, it's a good program, especially the, the, you know, the radio and TV together. Yeah. You know, that's the big thing. A lot of, there, are a few, there are a few other I think, high schools in the area that have radio stations, right. yeah. but not radio and TV. And plus, <laughs> you've, got, you know, you've got the cable channel to right. do as you please, you know, do whatever you want. That's great. That's fantastic. Yeah, it gives you the opportunity you know, to choose uh, between um, radio and television, too, because the, the, mm -hmm. uh, the fields are sort of interrelated. But, you know, I chose radio mm. for obvious reasons. <laughs> Which are, or do you per want to go into it? Perfect face for radio. Yeah, we both have it. Perfect face for radio. perfect radio face. That's right. A radio face? Yeah. It's a perfect face for radio. No. You've never it? heard that before? You haven't heard it before? No. He doesn't get it. He doesn't <laughs> get it. I, I, I never I heard it. It doesn't work. I thought you, you told me all these jokes would work. I'm sorry, <laughs> man. I, I just never heard now, it. What do you expect, man? I, I had Steve Baker write our material. I'm sorry. It didn't work out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now you can tell. Okay, now these guys, uh -huh. they're from 97X, okay? That's right. Now, you guys are known as the, the alternative rock station. Absolutely. Okay, now, what's it mean? Tell well, you, you, you listen to rock and roll stations today, and, you, and you, you, know, you can only hear so much Night Ranger, you know. I mean, we yeah. hate Journey. We hate Journey. Oh. Yeah, we do. We, we hate them. We hate them. Okay. Steve, let's yeah. hear it. Everybody we hate Journey. Journey. Aren't you tired of hearing the same songs over and over again? I, I am. And uh, that's what we're all about. You know, we play, a lot of people would call us a new wave or a punk station, which is not absolutely, you know, I mean, that's not true. That's we right. play all kinds of alternative rock and roll, blues, reggae, uh, any, anything in between. Yeah. He's got a band. He wants me to play his band, too. But, um, <laughs> you know, this, that's, that's, that's the premise behind 97X, and there is a, a large enough audience. Uh, you know, we're based out of Oxford. The college students are very su supportive of, of the station, but it, there's a large enough audience in Cincinnati and uh, hopefully Hamilton, Fairfield picking up well, more and, now. And too. Dayton, too. A lot and of Dayton, Dayton and Centerville, a lot of calls. We, I, we do the request show on Saturday night, and we get calls from all over, really. Mm, yeah. All That's over good. Middletown. Yeah. I mean, you know, we, we, cover, we, we cover a good area, and a lot of people are into what we're doing. It's, it's, yeah, it's really in incredible, you know. Um, that's the only way our station could have, you know, before it was a, a straight up AOR album oriented rock, uh, EBN 96 rock type station, yeah. which is okay, except that uh, why would somebody tune to a small station uh, like WOXY when they can turn it on WEBN? You get the same thing. Uh, yeah. That's therefore we decided to do something different. We couldn't hardly do country music or classical in a, a town of college students. But uh, so we decided to, to, to do rock and roll and do it a little bit differently. And as far as I'm concerned, now that I've been involved in it, it's the most vibrant and uh, changing and uh, evolving type of rock and roll that, that there is. And, uh, you know, I, I, I'm tired of... We hate want, Journey. I'm tired of people, <laughs> I'm tired of people in spandex pants. That's right. We don't know, how many times can you see these guys? That's right. Okay, that's great. Um, now, you, you said something about uh, the Sunday night call-in show? Okay, well, no, I do Saturday night. We, we have, a, we have we actually, what, three different request shows? Request the X on Thursday night? Right. It, which goes... Um, From 8 till midnight. 8 to 12. Okay, now, what's, requests. what's Well, that? people call in, and they tell us what, what they want to hear, and okay. we play it, you know. It's whatever they... And, and we play the requests. Well, you know, we're not like a radio station that says, you know, call in, we'll play your requests, and, like, you know, they, you, you call in, and they say, ha-ha, and hang up the phone. They never play your song, you know. Well, we <laughs> play the songs. We do it on Thursday night. I do it Saturday night mm -hmm. from 12 to 6. We have a, we also have a a weekend warm up on Friday afternoon That's on right. my show. But the, uh, the the thing is is how sophisticated our audience is. Um, they will call up and request the you know 10,000 maniacs and uh, you know <laughs> Jody Foster's army. It's incredible. That's right. And That's these right. people there there is there is a, there is an audience out there for that type of music, and it's very evident just by answering the phones from all over. And uh, I'm surprised other stations haven't uh, picked up on it. 
Okay, great. Now hang on a second. We got to go away here for just a little bit. We're going to take a break. When we come back, folks, we're going to find out more about the different kinds of shows everybody does on 97X. A whole bunch more stuff. These guys from 97X. Hang out. More great stuff to come. Hi, I'm William Devane, speaking for my over 6 million retarded friends across the land. They want to prove to us that they can be productive, participating citizens. John and I like Arabian horses, and we're learning about them together. How about your helping a retarded friend learn something new? Come on, John, give her some grain. Support the Association for Retarded Citizens, the ARC. When you give help, you give hope. Okay, great, great. We are back, folks. Talking with two fine guys, a former broadcasting arts student of right here at Hamilton High School. They now work for 97X, which uh, I had their t-shirt on today. The station that Mother warned you about, that tells you a little bit about these two guys. I know one of them. And uh, be warned, okay? Now, you guys do... Uh, <laughs> Everybody thinks they think I'm a maniac or a suicidal well, killer are. or something. I guess I must be. Now, these guys, <laughs> you guys have two. Now, uh, I want to find out just when, when you guys are on and what each of you do. First of you, Danny Crash. Um, when are you on? What do you do? Well, I'm on um, Monday through Friday from 3 p.m. until 7 p.m. That is my show. And I also program the music. Okay, and, uh, you program director? Yes. Right. Okay. Crash Mania in Oxford. There's Crash Mania. He's, he's selling autographed pictures for like two bucks a shot. So. No, I, 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 have to, <laughs> I have to pay them to give more. Uh, okay. This yeah. is the guy that, I mean, with this hair, look at this. I want to get, can oh, we man, get a shot of this? this? Don't do this. This, My this mom's red hair in this. the back here. That's why I hired this guy. That's All right. right. Anybody that cool. looks like <laughs> Mr. K. But, you know, no, but really. Mr. K. That's right. That's okay, right. now, Mr. K. What uh, what kind of shows do you do? Do you do any special I'm shows? Doing, and stuff? Um, I just do the I do the request show. I do the Saturday night party from uh, 12 to 6 on Saturday night. I work 2 to 7 Friday night. I'm just doing the I'm doing the weekend thing right now because um, you know it's it's just it's just perfect. Late night radio is perfect for me because uh, the kind of people that call and stuff they're all crazy and I, we have yeah. a great time. You know I encourage people you know when they call my show to, to be maniacs. I just encourage them to be nice. <laughs> yeah, that's great. That's and that's what we do. You know Saturday night party. It's what it's all about. You know right. you got to be a wild man. You got to be right. crazy. You got to party. Yeah. That's it. That's the whole thing. Am I getting in trouble? For, am I gonna get you in trouble for saying all this stuff? No, no, not at all. We do the same thing know. when we're on. I don't, don't want to. You know, like I don't want to think uh, people be calling up thinking I'm promoting you know derelict behavior. I don't want them to think. No, we like it. That's the same way. We like derelict behavior. This is great, man. We like it. We like it when when John and I are on. Uh, we get a lot of strange callers, and it's fun. That's why I like it too. Oh, we well, should be on it's late nights. You think strange? You should hear this. Stuff. Yeah, heavy <laughs> breathers and everything. It's, I mean, it's fantastic. We've it's had great some heavy breathers. <laughs> uh, okay, now it's, uh, you have a Sunday night metal shop. Okay, for those we have. Okay, people. for those. I know there's a lot of people um, in Hamilton that like heavy metal music. Uh, right. We have the baddest metal show. We we blow EBN 96 metal show out the door. We play Motorhead. We play. A lot of Queensryche. We play Raven. We play Metallica. We play Manowar. We play all the Armored Saint, Slayer, Armored Saint, Wasp. You name it, we play. We've okay, got, now. and it's called Massive Metal for the Masses. It's on Sunday nights, from um, it's on seven o'clock. What time? Is seven it? to ten. Seven. No, it's on seven right. to nine. Seven to nine. Seven to nine. Okay. And it's a it's a big request show, and uh, we play all the independent metal stuff that will never get touched on WEBN or ninety six rock because it's too hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, you know, I mean, so I, I think the people who do like heavy metal, actually, would, they, they should tune in. It's okay, well, see, that's another thing about 97X. It's another good thing. You're doing, you know, alternative rock, and then for the same thing for the heavy metal, EBN or somebody else maybe may not, you know, any other station may not go for yeah. that heavy. They, they wouldn't touch with a 10-foot pole. We so had, that's right. when, when Motorhead was in town in Cincinnati, we had uh, Lemmy, a crazy guy in Motorhead. Hey, he listened to the show, and he said it was the best metal show he'd heard. In the United States, which was pretty something. Else. I think we ought to, I think we should impressive. elaborate on, on on some of the local stuff we're doing. We're, oh, we're, yeah. we're playing a lot of local music from a lot of lo from like Cincinnati right. bands and stuff like that. We're doing uh, what the Warsaw Falcons, the Auburn Airs, Libertines. Uh, the Libertines, and these are people that, that have bands that are, that are basically in the bar scene in Cincinnati. So we just had a big show with the Libertines. Uh, the Albaneers and the Fangs up at Ozzy's Balcony up in up up there in Oxford. When was that? Thursday, yeah. last Thursday. Yeah. 
And, and um, we support these people. We play their records on the radio station and stuff like mm. that. I mean, you know, and, instead and we're supporting them. And, and instead of saying, you know, we support local music and never playing their records, we're supporting local music and we're playing their records. Right. You know, the radio stations in Cincinnati say we, we support local music. Well, that's a bunch of garbage because because they don't they don't play. They're not playing the Albanaires. They're not playing. They're not playing the Libertines and they're not playing the Warsaw Falcons. And it's good music, but they're just not playing it because it doesn't fit their format. Yeah, right. so, yeah, garbage. so you guys are into a lot of different things, which is good. You, you have, you know, your normal uh, programming. You play the alternative rock. You have a metal shop. You help out a lot of local bands. It's a good spread of stuff. That's right. It, it, so it, we it, also it, find it. lost dogs. Like, yeah. 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 Somebody we're called yesterday. We're not allowed. We're not allowed. Doing we're not allowed, not allowed. allowed. No, we don't do that. Because somebody called. Like I said, they lost their poodle, and and we couldn't do it because you know you do one lost dog advertisement, everybody in the world's coming up. I lost my parakeet. You know that kind of stuff. We don't have time for that garbage. Yeah, <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> okay, <laughs> something I have to ask now. Some you. of the other jocks on the air. Who do you want to know about? We'll tell you everything. Uh, we'll tell you all. We'll tell you their personal life. With, you know? All right. No, well, okay. Personal life we get into with this. This uh, <laughs> she's on. She she beams up to Planet X at midnight. Oh, uh, Robin. Oh, Plant. Robin. Robin Plant. Plant. That's her. Actually, Robin's now on it uh, from seven to midnight, uh, Monday through Friday. Robin comes from. Uh, uh, she's from Milwaukee, uh, Wisconsin. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's too, too early she, in the morning. She's from Milwaukee. She she did some time in Chicago radio, and we're very pleased to have her. She's a very biting personality and yeah. just something different, you know, she's not a card reading machine and she's, she ha speaks her mind, she's very political, she's an activist in a lot of different areas and she really knows music and uh, she's, she's a great disc jockey. And she's on uh, nights from 7 to midnight. She also does a show called Planet X, which if you think our regular programming is out there, you should listen to Planet X yeah, sometime. I have. And it's, it's, you know, I'm, it, it's, it's all kinds of stuff. And she has a very wide range of musical tastes and uh, she's a welcome addition. She's she's great. Cool. How how long have you guys? Uh, well, we'll start with you there. Why well, I, I how started, long have you been at the station? Why well, I I was at Ohio University, the greatest college in Ohio, Ohio University. You guys should everybody should go there. <laughs> place uh, in Athens, Ohio. And I, I I started working at WOXY in June of 1983. I worked until um, January of '84. Went back, got my degree finally and uh, paid off some professors and stuff and got my degree. And uh, I went back to OXY in June of 84. Uh, I've been here ever since. And Mr. K has Mr. K. only been on for a couple, what, I don't it's know. About, about, about six weeks. About six weeks. Yeah. Yeah. He's I came straight like um, I was one of the many great Ohioans. was like on unemployment for a year and a half. It was, you know, it's a fantastic living, but I had to go back to work. Tennessee, you went to college. <laughs> yeah, I did. And you did. No, I didn't go. I right, said now, heck with it. Now, with you guys talking, you guys, you guys, you know, friends, you talk a lot, I imagine. What's the difference? Uh, There's no difference. You know, I mean, if people, if you want to go to college, you go to college. If you don't go to college, it doesn't make you a second class citizen. Oh, yeah. And I right. just chose to do it. He didn't, you know. And, and I'm second class. And I'm, I'm, I'm proud of it. <laughs> My mom's going to hate me for this. It, it may pay. <laughs> I don't know. You know, right in radio, I mean, it, it, it'll pay off down the line, uh, maybe a college education, but that's, you know, that's your choice. That's that. Doesn't make any difference. Yeah, that's what I mean. I, mean, I, I would, I would, if I would encourage it if you're going to be in radio yeah. and television. You know, it's not that hard. It's a lot of fun. You know, especially if you go to town with a lot of bars and stuff. But, <laughs> but, uh, that's what we, I, I've talked to lots of people because you know I like it a lot. And I plan on getting into it. But they said you know a lot of times college doesn't you know make a big it difference. Depends on where you it's, go. It, it does, but right. it, sometimes it doesn't. Well, I a degree. Know. I think a degree could prob would would always help you because it's you know most people say you pay a you know you pay the money you get the piece of paper and then you go out and get a job. You know, but I start. I was lucky when I got out of high school. As a matter of fact, when I was, I guess, 18 years old. I was started at at, at OXY. When mm -hmm. I was, you know, right out of high school, I worked there for a year and a half, and then and then I, you know, I went to work for a, <clears throat> a local cable company, and I, you know, I worked <laughs> here. I worked I worked here with the with with the high school for I guess three years, and then I was out the door. I was, you know, living living the life of a derelict bum for about a year and a half, being a musician and stuff like that, and. Uh, and now I'm back in radio, and I'm enjoying it. You know, like I've had a fun life. You okay. know, I'm enjoying it. But I, I know Dan's a, Dan's had a good time too. Like you know, spent many nights in jail in Athens and stuff. And, and oh, we talk about that right. occasionally. Now. Oh, maybe we'll talk about that when we come back. Okay. okay. We have to take we have to take one more time out. Hang on, we'll get back to you guys. We have to take one more time out. Uh, we'll come back. Get some closing comments from the two wild men from 97X. Hang out. What do you want to eat? It's big cheese and the food. Groupies. Hey, we'll show you what to eat. When you think of food, don't be a bore. Think one, two, three, four. Can you put together 
is so good for you. It makes you healthy and it tastes good too. So the next time you open the refrigerator door, think one, two, four, four. Mom's never gonna believe this. Might make uh, Mike McGuire feel a little better. His favorite commercial about big cheese. You guys like it? Yeah, that was great. I love yeah. it. I'm glad. I, I support Very dairy creative. farmers. I'm into cheese. That's great. Me too. Me too. Good, good. Okay, we have a few minutes left here. And the time we do, I want to ask uh, either one of you if you have anything coming up at 97X you want to tell everybody about any special shows or maybe something either one of you are doing uh, by yourself. Anything happening? Every, every day is an adventure at 97. You never know what's going to happen. And I think that spontaneity in radio is something that's missing, especially in rock and roll radio. And I think it's something we're trying to bring back. And I think that uh, it's, it's, it's something that uh, it's, we got something for everybody. And you never know what's going to happen there, that's right. especially when this maniac's on the air. We choose not to be boring, and that's what, and that's yeah. what, and that's what makes the radio station go. That's why people listen, because we're yeah. not sitting there saying, you know, um, we're, the, we're the baddest um, I'm better the not hot FM. That's right. We're we're the meanest rock radio station in Cincinnati. Yeah. We don't push that garbage, man. We're ourselves, and we're who you know, and, and we just do our thing, you know. Play that's a lot the of thing. That's the and, thing. and that's it, you know, because radio today there's so much, there's so much, you know, image hype, garbage, like you know, on like you know, who, what kind of radio station has a has a person dressed up in a green suit and, and run around town? I mean, that's, that's insanity. I don't. I'm not into that. The, the bottom line is, you know, I can get when I get up in the morning. I look forward to going to work, and um, I don't know how many of these other people in radio stations, as much as they they talk about, they hate their music and everything else. Well, I, I can go in and enjoy playing it, and uh, it, I think it comes across on the air. Yeah, We've got a neat station. We have yeah. fun when, 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 when we're on the when we're, when we're when we're on the radio, we have a good time. Let me I do that for you. Come on, let me do that. <laughs> hey, hey. Oh, sorry. This isn't big time wrestling. It's a, it's a flash. Oh, yeah, back. big time wrestling. Hey. hey. We, we support big time wrestling, too. We're hopefully going to get um, uh, <laughs> King Kong Bundy and. Um, Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan. Oh, Hulk Hogan. Uh, Hulk Hogan. Uh, Rowdy Hulk. Roddy Piper. Get the Rowdy Hulk Rowdy. in, man. Rowdy Roddy cool. Piper is going to come in maybe and do some uh, DJ work for us. So right. you, we'll, we'll keep you in touch. We'll Keep come us back. posted. Come, hey, will you come back? Can, can we host the show tomorrow? Yeah, can we just come back? And I don't care. How about if you guys come on our radio show tonight? Oh, we'll do it. We'll be you want to come in? We, what, what time? Five. Five o'clock? Yeah. Sure, why not? Sure, sure why not? I just Listen to John and I on HSS tonight at five o'clock. Okay. We'll come. Can we bring we'll some more records? We bring okay, some records. Whatever you want. Pass. Yeah, we need money. Nothing. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. What kind yeah, of dance tonight at five o'clock? Right? We, we got. Oh, do we get bucks for the show today? You get nothing. No money. Nothing. You got to come here and talk about your great radio station, 97X. No wonder he left. He wasn't going to pay us. It's just for our money. That's all. Sorry, folks. No more. We're out of time, but we enjoy being with these guys. You can tell they're crazy to listen to them. we got Mr. K and Danny Crash from 97X. 97X. Goodbye. Mike will be back tomorrow. You've been watching the Mike McGuire Show. Thanks to our special guests, Mr. K and Danny Crash, Peggy Simmons, and the Backstreet Blues Band. For guest bookings, contact the Mike McGuire Show, TV 11, 868 3782. The show was directed by Mike McGuire, Associate Director Randy Rybrock, Technical Director Naja Pennington, Audio Mike Fox, Video Tape Operator Lisa Miller, Video Engineer John Sandor, Camera Operators Matt Harrington and Laurie Redland, Floor Manager Pam Heyer, Electronic La Graphics Sue Brandenburg, Lighting Director Tom Burns, Chief Engineer Bob Wilson, Assistant Engineer Dan Trimble. Ideas and opinions expressed in this program are not necessarily those of Hamilton City Schools, Miami Valley Cable, or McGuire Entertainment. This has been a production of McGuire Entertainment and the Broadcasting Arts TV program at Hamilton High School. This is Jody Smith speaking. Thank you for watching the show. Have a pleasant day. Thank you.